Okay, so now we'll go ahead and get started. I'm gonna be choosing new map of my territory data. And we're gonna start with the example of an Excel sheet. So let's say I have an Excel sheet that lists out the territory name and next to each territory name, it lists a zip code or county that is included in that territory. I'm gonna choose from my territory table. And I have a, an Excel sheet set up here already, which I'm gonna open up so you can see. As you can see, it has a zip code field. It has a territory field that shows what territory that zip code goes into. And then it has a miscellaneous widgets field, which just shows a number for each uh, territory. This could be any number really. This is not necessary also. So, but if you have like a sales number for each zip code or a uh, number of customers or something like that, you can have a column like that here as well. Uh, but again, this column is completely optional. So I'm gonna choose this My Territory sheet and I'll go ahead and hit Next. So we wanna make sure that whatever geographic or geography that we're using for our territories, that that geography is selected up here. So for example, my territories are built out of zip codes. So I wanna make sure that these are set to five digit zip code and zip. So you can see the examples of different zip codes here. I just wanna make sure that, you know, if I'm using zip codes, that these say zip code and that my geography field down here is set to zip code. Uh, we also want to make sure that the territory field is set to the territory field from my spreadsheet. So in that case, mine was just called territory, and it just has numbers two, one, and three, depending on which territory these zip codes are in. Next up, we can track fields. So if we have data stored in our uh, territory table that we want to track, we can track that by choosing add fields and then clicking import territory table fields. If you have sales data or customer information that's stored in another file, you can choose import fields from a file to browse for a different Excel sheet. Since my data is stored in the same table, I'll choose import territory table fields, and I'll just track my widgets field. And I'll hit finish. So while that is importing, I'm gonna display another poll, which is uh, going to ask if you wanna track data to choose all sources you'd like to use. So I went over just now data in my territories table and data in another table, uh, but if anyone is looking to track data in another Maptitude layer, I can go over that as well. So since a bunch of people picked uh, data in a Maptitude layer, I can go over that as well. At any point, if you wanna add extra tracking data to these um, territories, you can. So if I click on the gear up here on the top right of the territory manager, options, and then choose territory layer settings, I can go to the fields tab, and we have the same interface we had before to add tracking fields. So adding geography layer fields will allow us to add demographics to track. So if I wanted to search for population, I can search pop, highlight population, click OK, and then OK again. And it should add population as a tracking field here. So now if I click on this drop down, you can see that I can click on population instead. So here we have pre made territories now, and they're created from the data in my Excel sheet. Now, if I wanted to add uh, new zip codes to these territories, I would just pick the territory that I wanna add to from the dropdown, click on my selection tool, and then start adding. And that's pretty much it. There's of course a lot more functionality with the territory manager itself. 
but there is also an entire webinar and a couple tutorial videos dedicated to using the territory manager uh, itself. So I won't go over that much today. Um, but next up, I'm going to create territories using a map point file. So I'm gonna close this workspace by choosing file, close workspace. And we are going to start from scratch. So here I'm going to choose open a file. And my map point file is a .ptm file. So I'll click on the drop down here on the bottom right, and I will choose .ptm. Okay, so we see that it detects my territories for my map point file as a territory table, which is correct. And I want to make sure that this is checked here to launch the territory wizard. Uh, this just makes it so that it will launch the territories, um, or sorry, launch the territory wizard once I import this table. I do see a question that I can answer just right now. Uh, were there overlapping territories in the last map? There were not, but I'm happy to show overlapping territories in this next part. It's uh, Pretty quick to show. Okay, so it imported my territory table field. You can actually see that I believe it's the same table as last time. So it uh, basically picks up the zip codes, uh, the territory that those zip codes are in, and then if you have any tracking data as well, it'll add those too. So I'm going to be creating it from my custom territories table that I just imported. And now all the steps are pretty much the same. This step is exactly the same. We just want to make sure that any uh, zip code fields are matching up with zip code up here and that the territory field is set to our field containing the names of our territories. And again, we can choose to track fields if we want. So I will once again track those widgets. And I'll go ahead and track population as well. And just out of curiosity, I'm going to display another poll asking if anyone's territories overlap, kind of relating to the last question that I just answered. Uh, so if your territories overlap, uh, feel free to hit yes here and submit, uh, just so I get a better idea of uh, how much detail I should go into on overlapping territories. Okay, we have several people with overlapping territories, so I will go. I will take some time to go over these. Um, with overlapping territories, once we have our territories in the map, uh, see mine. If yours uh, overlap, and you're importing from a table, and you know you already have multiple zip codes assigned to a single territory, it should import with no problem. You'll see those overlapping territories, uh, and uh, that will be it. But if you want to maybe select a few zip codes to, uh, let's say, let's make an example here. Let's say I want to add, let's say I want this area here to overlap between the two territories. It's already part of territory one. So I will pick territory two from this drop down because I want to add these areas to territory two as well. From the select drop down, I will choose any area and allow overlapping territories. This is essentially the main selection tool to help us create overlapping territories. And I'll just choose select by pointing 
and I will start clicking the zip codes that I want to overlap. And once that's done, I can hit the check mark. And now all these areas overlap. So you can see uh, both territories are encompassing this area. Um, that is pretty much it. And there is one more poll to display, which is how do you share the territories you create? So this part, I'll mostly go over uh, exporting the territories uh, and basically creating uh, either images with the territories in them or uh, tables, Excel sheets with the data. So as far as exporting these territories go, if you want to export Excel sheets showing the uh, territories and the zip codes that are in those territories, or any information about the territories, such as what you're tracking, uh, maybe a demographic report on the territories, you can right-click a territory. If you choose Export Territory List, I'll do this one first, it will give us a list of territories and the zip codes that are in those territories. So in my case, it's pretty much exactly what I imported which is the zip code column and the territory that zip code is in. If I right click a territory and choose export territory to Excel, the results are a little bit different. So we get a geography report which shows just the territories and uh, zip, or just the territory name and the zip codes that territory two encompasses. We also have a census overlay and a list of cities and towns in that territory. If you want to export an image of the territory, you can right click on a territory and choose zoom to territory. And then if you want to just copy the, or the, uh, the image to paste it into something like a Word document or a PowerPoint, you can right click the map and choose copy. Otherwise, you can choose export as image and save the image file somewhere on your computer. You can also create a layout with the territory in it. We do have a tool here for territory layout. If you click on this, it will automatically generate a layout for your territory, which is kind of nice. My territory here is uh, pretty large and a bit oddly shaped, so this might take a minute. Uh, while I'm waiting for it, I will answer another question here. So the zip code is twice in the table, each with a different territory. Yes, the zip code, if you want to have overlapping territories uh, and import from a table, you would list that zip code twice in the sheet, and you would just have each territory that it is assigned to in the other column. And it should, if you have that, then it should import with a, um, then it should import uh, already overlapping. How do you include point zip codes in the exports? Uh, I can definitely show that, yep. Um, give me one minute here to load this up.
Sorry about that. I was just switching to my Colorado territories because these are a better example for this. So with exporting the point zip codes, all you have to do is find the five digit zip point layer, which is uh, down here in the display manager. Click on the red X twice to enable the layer. So now you can see all these point zip codes. And then once you choose, once you right click a zip code, such as downtown and choose export territory to Excel, then you should get a list of the point zip codes in that area. And the point zip codes usually also will include area zip codes because the area zip codes will also have an associated point. Uh, so this is your list of all zip codes in that territory.